गुड आफ्टरनून जय हिंद इन दिस पर्टिकुलर क्लास वी विल लर्न वी विल अंडरस्टैंड दैट हाउ टू पास द जर्नल एंट्री ऑन द टाइम ऑफ डिसोल्यूशन इन द लास्ट क्लास वी लर्न हाउ टू ओपन द रिलाइजेशन अकाउंट हाउ टू ओपन द पार्टनर्स कैपिटल हाउ टू ओपन द कैश एंड बैंक टूडे वी विल लर्न हाउ टू पास जर्नल एंट्रीज द रूल्स वे आर सेम लाइक फर्स्ट वी हैव टू क्लोज द असेट्स एंड लाइबिलिटी वॉट असेट्स एंड वॉट लाइबिलिटी वी हैव टू क्लोज वॉट नॉट टू क्लोज दैट ऑलरेडी आई टोल्ड यू any accumulated profit and losses are there that will be distributed between the partners legation profit and loss will be distributed between the partners and after that we will find out that who have to bring the amount in the business at a time of dissolution and who will take out the cash at the time of dissolution of the business so without any delay let's proceed for the question so here one question is there and it is already the question of cbsc 2017 and 18 okay bachcha so ef and g uh, three partners are there e f and g and they have the ratio of 2 to 1 on march 31st 2020 the firm was dissolved on the date of dissolution the balance sheet of the firm as follow liabilities are given assets is given okay capital is given e and f capital is there creditors is there outstanding expenses are there so what thing will close from this particular liability side creditors and outstanding expenses capital will not close because capital will be open separately here bachcha g's capital is given in asset side so you always seen that uh, capitals are given in liability side but in the starting of the class i told you that fixed capital can show the balance zero i always show the positive balance but when it is a fluctuating capital so fluctuating capital can show positive and negative both balances current account under fixed capital method can show positive negative both balances so bachcha this is the question of fluctuating capital how we can say it is a fluctuating capital when in the question no information is there uh when the question current account is not mentioned the li liability side in the balance sheet we assume that yes it is a fluctuating capital and in the fluctuating capital capital can be positive capital can be negative both balances so the capital balance which is given in the liability side is a positive balance and the capital balance which is given in the asset side is a negative balance so this particular capital will also not transfer to close in realization profit and loss account which are undistributed loss if profit and loss account balance is given in the liability side <coughs> if profit and loss account balance is given in the liability side it means it is a profit but when profit and loss account balance is given in the asset side it means it is a loss and that will not transfer in the realization land and building furniture machinery debtors that all will transfer close in the realization bank will not transfer because for that it will be a separate account so whenever it is there to pass the necessary general entries we have to first close the liability and the assets what we are knowing liability is always credit assets is always debit so when we are going to close when we are going to close these accounts in the liquidation it will be opposite we are knowing for closing anything we have to pass the opposite entry so bachcha 
फर्स्ट चलो जी क्लोज क्रेडिटर्स सो क्रेडिटर्स एंड आउट स्टैंडिंग एक्सपेंसिज इज क्रेडिट इन जनरल नाउ वी आर क्लोजिंग इन द रियलाइजेशन सो फर्स्ट वी पास द अपोजिट एंट्री ऑफ टैक्स क्रेडिटर्स अकाउंट डेबिट आउट स्टैंडिंग एक्सपेंस अकाउंट डेबिट एंड वेयर वी आर क्लोजिंग इन रियलाइजेशन it will be 45000 17000 total will be 45 10 this is what this is the liability close second entry we will pass for assets closing assets is always debit so now when assets will close it will be credit so realization account debit 2 land and building 1 lakh rupees furniture 2 furniture it is how much bachcha 50000 rupees 2 machinery 90000 rupees Debtors, two debtors, thirty-six thousand five hundred rupees. Acha, one thing I'm telling you at this point only. Sometimes debtors having the provision. Sometimes it will be written like that: debtors minus provision for bad debts. So, bacha, please write down in your rule page that when debtors are there with provision for doubtful debts. Debtors will be closed in realization. Debtors will be closed in realization debit side, and provision for doubtful debts will be closed separately in the realization credit side. How so? So I'm telling you. Suppose, suppose debtors is given eighty thousand minus provision for doubtful debts six thousand, and in the asset side it will be how much seventy four thousand. So, what is the treatment of realization in the realization account when we are closing the assets and liability? Debtors is assets, so as we know, the debit side is the assets closing. It is a assets closing, and realization credit side is known as liability closing. So, debtors is assets, so it will be closed here. Two debtors, eighty thousand. And provision for doubtful debts is a liability, so it will be closed in the credit side like this by provision for doubtful debts six thousand. And when we pass a general entry also, then also it will be separate. It will be realization account debit two debtors separately, and this will be provision for doubtful debts account debit two realization. Okay, so separate entry for debtors, separate entry for provision for doubtful debts, separate transfer and realization for debtors, separate transfer for provision for doubtful debts. Oh, okay. So just find out the total of the same, bacha. Just find out the total of the same. How much it will be? Realization account debit one lakh plus fifty plus ninety plus thirty six thousand five hundred. Total will be how much, bacha? One lakh ninety, one lakh ninety, two lakh. Two lakh seventy six thousand five hundred. Two lakh seventy six thousand five hundred. This is what, bacha. This is assets closing. Okay. So first, what we have to do? We have to close our liability, which is given in the balance sheet. Then we have to close all the assets. What is given in the sheet? But you have to remember that which assets will be not transferred. That already I told you. Except then that all will be closed. Now, after that, the closing of liability and assets, which are one topic I told you. Now we have to make the entries of liability payment. We have to pass the entry of assets receipts. Okay. So how it can be? You just see. Uh, you just see. Just terminal. Let me adjust this. I think the question is visible to you. No problem in that. Okay. 
सो वी गो फॉर लाइबिलिटी पेमेंट अब अच्छा लाइबिलिटी पेमेंट लाइबिलिटी पेमेंट सो फर्स्ट वी डू द पेमेंट एंट्रीज यू सी दैट एनी एनी रिलेक्सेशन इज देयर इन पेमेंट तो यस देर इज अ रिलेक्सेशन वॉट रिलेक्सेशन दैट क्रिएटर्स आर पेड ऑन डिस्काउंट फाइव परसेंट तो वॉट इज द अमाउंट ऑफ अ क्रिएटर्स फोर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड तो वॉट इज द पेमेंट अमाउंट फॉर क्रेडिटर्स यू प्लीज कैलकुलेटेड एंड टेल मी दैट क्रेडिटर्स हैविंग फोर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड फाइव परसेंट डिस्काउंट फाइव बाई हंड्रेड अच्छा वाई वी आर गिविंग द फाइव परसेंट क्रेडिटर्स वी आर पेबल ऑन एवरेज ऑफ थ्री मंथ फ्रॉम द डेट ऑफ डिसोल्यूशन on discharging the creditors on the date of dissolution they allowed a discount of 5% it means suppose we have to pay to creditors after 3 month but now we are making the payment before 3 month because of dissolution so they are giving the discount also so how much discount they had given that we have to find out it is 45000 into 5 by 100 and that will be uh, how much 4500 uh, will be 2250 2250 2250 2250 will be discount 2250 it means we have to pay 45000 45000 is the amount of creditor in that we get a 2250 discount so total amount what we are going to pay is 42750 that is for creditors any information for outstanding expenses no information so when in the liability side no information is there then it will be paid full amount it will be paid full amount okay acha one thing always remember now you close already all the liabilities and assets bahut simple se baat bata raha hu bachcha isko dimag mein yaad rakhna general entry ka pass karte samay ki already you close all the liabilities and all the assets account to ab jahan jahan unka naam aayega na whether assets is there whether liabilities there at the place of assets and liability we will use we will open account realization okay why we not opening the creditors and outstanding expenses because already we close that in the realization account so now onwards from the at the place of creditors or outstanding expenses we open we open realization account like suppose we are making the payment to creditors normal entry creditors account debit to bank because creditors are receiving creditors are receiving debit the receiver to bank but now creditors account is closed and that is paid through realization so we will open realization realization account debit to cash is going out so to bank अच्छा सर वाई वी आर रिकॉर्डिंग बैंक कैन वी रिकॉर्ड कैश बट ऑलवेज सी दिस दैट इफ इन योर असेट्स ओनली बैंक इज गिवन सो एट एवरी प्लेस ऑफ पेमेंट एट एवरी प्लेस ऑफ रिसिप्ट यू ओनली अलाउड टू राइट डाउन द बैंक वर्ड सो लाइजेशन अकाउंट डेबिट टू बैंक will be how much so 42750 you are paying for creditors and 17000 you are paying for outstanding expenses so total how much you are paying tell, tell me please how much total you are paying 42 plus 17 uh, 5975 so how much you are paying 59750 59750 now fourth one that uh, now we pass the entry of liability closing we pass the entry of assets closing we pass the entry of liability payment now we have to pass the entry of assets receipt so when we receive the assets when we receive the assets so what thing will come bachcha what thing will come simple we will uh, we will receive the amount debit what's coming that's why it will be bank account debit how much that we have to see so what we receive we receive land and building for 108900 so to a realization ab dekho why we got realization here when any assets is going out debit what's coming credit what goes out 
but at the place of land and building we will open the ligation because land and building is already closed in the ligation account to so, bahut simple sa fund hai bachcha assets or liability ke close hone ke baad jahan jahan assets or liability ka use hoga wahan pe hum ligation account kholte theek hai acha तो हाउ मच वी रिसीव वो थोड़ा सा कैलकुलेशन करेंगे वन लैख एट थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड फॉर लैंड फर्नीचर वॉज सोल्ड एट ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ बुक वैल्यू तो फिफ्टी थाउजेंड की फर्नीचर थी बच्चा ट्वेंटी फाइव मतलब ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड का आपने बेच दिया जी फर्नीचर एंड आफ्टर दैट मशीनरी वॉज सोल्ड एज ए स्क्रैप फॉर नाइन थाउजेंड नाइन थाउजेंड की मशीन बेच दी All debtors will realize at full. The debtors are thirty-six thousand five hundred. All make the full payment. So total of this will be coming how much? Tell me. Tell me in the comment box. One lakh eight thousand nine hundred for land and building. Land and building. Twelve thousand five hundred for furniture. Nine thousand for machinery, and thirty-six thousand for debtors. And total is how much, bacha? Total will be coming one lakh sixty-six thousand nine hundred. One lakh sixty-six thousand nine hundred. And that is what? That is the assets reaction engine. Now you can see that we passed each and everything. One thing is remaining. What? What thing is remaining? Reaction expenses. There is a regulation expenses, which is agreed as agreed to bear the dissolution expenses, and as is realized as follow. But F is getting a remuneration of five thousand. Who is getting? F is getting. So definitely his capital will, his capital will increase. His capital will increase. So when a partner is getting remuneration. For business, it is a type of expense because business is giving that remuneration. All expenses are debit, but at the place of remuneration, we will open realization account debit. Two. Who is getting much? F. To F capital account. How much much? F will get it. Five thousand. So, what is the entry of realization expenses? Always remember, when realization expenses is bear and borne by partner. It means realization expenses have to pay to the partners, and partners paid that. There will be no entry in the books of accountancy. It will be managed and adjusted by partners privately, and partners private entries will be not recorded in the book of accountancy. So, guys, uh, we have five. Entries we passed till now: one for liability close, one for assets close, one for liability payment, one for assets realize, and one for the remuneration. What F is getting? Now uh, you can see there's a undistributed loss. But before that, we have to find out that on realization the profit is there, a loss is. On realization, the profit is there, a loss is there, and how we can find out that on realization the profit is there, a loss is there? Simple, simple. After passing all entries, liability close, assets close, liability payment, assets realized, and expenses, we have to find out realization profit or loss, and how we can find out? Simple, all realization expenses. We will find out the total and all realization expenses. Credit side, we will find out the total. Okay, so if not realization expenses exactly, a realization we can write 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 down like this: realization uh, simple realization debit side total, realization realization debit side total, and realization credit side total. So here. Realization credit is number one sixty two thousand sixty two thousand, and after that realization debit two lakh two lakh seventy six thousand two lakh seventy six thousand five hundred. Okay, so realization credit is sixty two thousand 
रिलाइजेशन डेबिट टू लैख सेवेंटी सिक्स थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड आफ्टर दैट बच्चा रिलाइजेशन अगेन डेबिट फिफ्टी नाइन थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड फिफ्टी रिलाइजेशन इज पेड विद वन लैख सिक्सटी सिक्स थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड एंड रिलाइजेशन इज अगेन डेबिट विद फाइव थाउजेंड so you just find out the total of debit and total of credit so how we can find out the relation profit or loss in the general entry whatever the relation debit side total is there you just find out whatever the relation credit side total is there you just find out and find out the both total find out the both total so this side total will be 276500 plus 59750 Plus five thousand, and this side total will be coming how much, bacha? This side total will be coming how much? Three lakh forty one thousand two hundred fifty, and this side total will be coming one lakh sixty six thousand nine hundred plus sixty two thousand, and this will this side total will be two lakh twenty eight thousand nine. Hundred. So as we can see, the debit side is more than credit side. So what will be loss will be? How much loss? So you just deduct that and you will get it three lakh forty one thousand two hundred fifty. The loss of one lakh twelve thousand three hundred fifty. Now we have to pass the entry for this particular loss. And as we know, as we know. that whenever the loss will be transferred to the partner's capital partner's capital will decrease and whenever the partner's capital will decrease partner's capital will be debit and this loss will be distributed between all the partners in their whole or present ratio so it will be whosoever a partner efg so e's capital e's capital account debit F capital account debit, G's capital account debit. Two realization because we are now closing the realization. One lakh twelve thousand three hundred fifty. Why realization is debit? Because bacha when realization debit side is more by one lakh twelve thousand three hundred fifty, and when we distribute this loss and it will close, it will be debit to credit. That's why two realization account is credit one lakh twelve thousand three hundred fifty, and that will be distributed in the ratio as per the question, and it will be how much which are two to one. So distribute in two to one. One lakh twelve thousand three hundred fifty distributed in the ratio two is to two is to one. It will come forty four thousand nine hundred forty. Forty-four thousand nine hundred forty, and twenty-two thousand seven. Uh, sorry, twenty-two thousand four hundred seventy. Okay, so forty-four thousand nine hundred forty, forty-four thousand nine hundred forty, and twenty-two thousand four hundred seventy. This is what whatever the realization losses are there. That whole entry we passed. Whole entry we passed, okay, and uh, after that, after the whole entry we passed, and after that, whatever the loss is coming, one lakh twelve thousand three hundred fifty, we do it that. So, bacha, this all procedure related with the realization. This is this is related with the realization, liability close, assets close, liability payment, assets realized, and after that, loss on the realization. It is what realization expense. Now we have to see that in the question any accumulated loss or profit is there. If it is there, so it will be distributed between the partners in their ratio. So just a minute, let me set this so you can see. Yes, there is a profit and loss account of ten thousand rupees. So we will distribute that also. And we will pass the entry for the same. How so? Do you see, bacha? Next, 
profit and loss account 10,000 rupees. So profit and loss account is a loss. So again, it will decrease the partner's capital. E's capital account debit. B's, uh, sorry, not B. It is F. F capital account debit and G's capital account debit. And bacha, to profit and loss. If profit and loss is given in liability, it will act as a profit. And if it is given in the asset side, it will act as a loss. So profit and loss, loss is 10,000. Again, this will be distributed with the ratio 2 is to 2 is to 1. So it will be 4,000. 4,000 and 2,000. Now everything is done. Now we have to find out that whose partner will receive the payment and whose partner will give the payment. And how it can be? Simple. A, A means E, F and G. A normal working note we will make. We will make, find out the debit total. We will find out the credit total in the general entry for E, F, G. So first though you write down the credit total of E, their opening capital, 1 lakh 30,000 and 1 lakh. But G having a negative balance of how much, bacha? 500. So negative balance is capital debit, positive balance is capital credit. Now in the question, you find out that anywhere in the transaction, any partner is there. So in the first transaction, second transaction, third, fourth, fifth, no partner is there. But here all the partners are debited with the certain amount. And that amount is 44,940, 44,940, 22,470. So this will be recorded in the debit side of each partner, 44,940. 44,940 and plus it will be recorded how much which are more 22,470 okay and again again the capital is debited with the same amount 442 so it will be again recorded uh, just just have a space in that so you can record easily One lakh thirty thousand and one lakh. Ha. So we have again the debit balance of E. That is how much, bacha? Four thousand, four thousand and two thousand. Okay. Now, now what to do? We have to find out. We have to find out that how much amount E will get it or pay. And how it can be a simple logic you remember. If credit side is more, then they will take out. They will take out cash. And if debit side is more, then they will bring the cash. Because credit side is more, it means they have positive balance, they will withdraw. Debit side is more, it means they have negative balance, they have to bring the cash. So find out the Kobacha credit side total is 1 lakh 30, 1 lakh minus 48,940 and it will be coming how much 81060 credit side. 81060. Again, 1 lakh minus 48,940, it will be coming how much Bacha 56060. It is again credit. Nothing is in credit side. So whatever the balance will come for G. It will be totally debit and it will be 22 plus 24, 24, 24,970. Debit. Okay, so what do you do? All the partners who add debit, all the partners who add credit, all the partners who add credit, all the partners who add If credit is more, then credit side balance will be there. If debit is more, then debit side balance will be there. 
and if the partner having the debit balance ultimately it means partner have to bring the amount so who will bring the amount g will bring the amount how much 24970 so for for g g will bring the amount so bank account debit 24970 who is bringing g ab g's capital will be created why so rule of personal account debit the receiver credit the giver who is giving this particular amount g so g will be created to g's capital account 24970 acha the last payment the last payment is uh, you can say the last entry 789 that the remaining partner enf the remaining partner enf have the credit balance 81060 56060 it means they will bring out the amount so they are receiving the amount debit the receiver that's why e's capital e's capital account debit f capital account debit how much e will receive e will receive 81060 81060 and how much f will receive 56060 56060 and total payment from firm side will be to bank account find out the total it will be 1,37,120 ठीक है भाई तो दिस इज दिस इज द ट्रांजेक्शन हाउ द पेमेंट ऑफ पार्टनर्स विल डन एंड व्हेन यू मेक द पेमेंट क्वेश्चन ओवर तो बहुत सिंपल सा प्रोसीजर समझिएगा फर्स्ट आप रिलेशन में एसेट्स लाइबिलिटी क्लोज करिए एसेट्स का पेमेंट करिए लाइबिलिटी का पेमेंट करिए लाइजेशन एक्सपेंसेस का पेमेंट करिए एंड फाइंड आउट द लाइजेशन प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूट बिटवीन द पार्टनर्स एनी एक्टेड प्रॉफिट एनी एक्टेड लॉस आर देर डिस्ट्रीब्यूट बिटवीन द पार्टनर्स एंड आफ्टर दैट फाइंड आउट द पार्टनर्स डेबिट साइड टोटल फाइंड आउट द पार्टनर्स क्रेडिट साइड टोटल अगर डेबिट साइड ज्यादा है इट मीन्स पार्टनर हैव टू ब्रिंग दैट अमाउंट and if credit side is more it means partner will check out that amount when partners will bring bank account debit to partners capital when partners will check out partners capital to bank so this is the transaction how we will pass the journal entry this means for today thank you go and practice from your particular book dk goel start practicing bachcha because the practice will only bring 100 out of 100 in accountancy only some persons are doing accountancy like this they are doing they are solving the accountancy by the eyes aur unko lagta hai ki sara illustration to kar liya bhai illustration khola aur aise kar ha ha ye to aa gaya ye to aa gaya ye to aa gaya ye to aa gaya but jab exam mein jayenge wo when they uh, go in exam center when they appeared in pre board क्वेश्चन नहीं लगा पाए क्यों क्योंकि आपकी आंखों ने याद किया था दिमाग और हाथ ने तो प्रैक्टिस किया ही नहीं था और आंखों से तो लिखाएंगे नहीं इसलिए हाथों को भी प्रैक्टिस करने दें डू गो एंड डू द प्रैक्टिस ठीक है जी थैंक यू वेरी मच